Does my father really need to attend to this Sotombor thing personally? Yes. Remember, as acting Captain Arakawa is merely keeping the seed warm for Watase. Being there in person will be a show of respect and good faith. Fine. But why am I just now hearing about this? I said I wanted to know if he so much as breathed somewhere outside his usual places. My apologies, young master. I only just found out myself. Really now? Well, all we can do now is wait and see. Hmm? Wait and see what, exactly? Masaru Watase and Masumi Arakawa are finally meeting in person after how long? If I know my dad, they're not just gonna say hi and be on their merry ways. I highly doubt they're plotting anything. Isn't the Omi chairman still bedridden? I've heard it's terminal. Yes, that's correct. Then it's past time for a potential successor to be formally named. Actually, it may not be that urgent yet, but then again... The chairman might say Watase's release from prison is a good time to step down. And then Watase would become chairman, naturally. I'm sure his reign would be a very long one. But Omi history will take a very different course if, say, Watase disappeared. What? <laughs> I'm thinking dear old dad might try to make it happen. I don't know if that's Arakawa-san's style, exactly. You don't think so? Remember when I asked Dad to sell out the Tojo clan during the 3K plan? Well, I never told him to bring in the Omi Alliance. He did that all on his own. I think it was a good decision, actually. Don't you? Uh, well, sure. Thanks to him, the Tojo were driven out of Kamrucho. The 3K plan was a wild success, and my approval rating skyrocketed. I expected the Tojo clan to fall hard, but I didn't think some third-rate Tojo vermin like Dad could ever worm his way into their top ranks. <laughs> Shrewd of him to do that during all the commotion. I thought he was a slow, antiquated Yakuza, and certainly not the type of man who could catch me off guard. Huh. I guess power really does corrupt, huh? Don't get me wrong, if Dad buries Watase and takes over the Omi Alliance, I benefit too. Having him there would be very convenient for me. There's just one thing that feels off. What's that? He hasn't told me about any plan to off Watase at their meeting. That's evidence against my theory. I'll have to see what happens. If all they do is greet each other, I was wrong. Look. <laughs> On the other hand, if he wastes Watase and still doesn't see fit to tell me, that would be a betrayal I cannot tolerate. Arakawa-san won't betray you. He better not. His little Yakuza club only has power because I extend it to them. <sighs> I've come a long way since the Kamurocho 3K plan. I'm at the top of the political pyramid now, which means I need to know what's happening in the underworld. The hierarchy should be very clear at this point and I expect people to fall in line. That's a matter of policy, and family is no exception. Sawashiro, between me and my father, to whom would you swear complete fealty? Arakawa-san sent me to do as you command. His orders were to put you and your interests above everything else. My interest is for you to watch his every move and report them to me. Understood. I'll send Tendo to Osaka. He seems to have rapport with Arakawa-san. Ah! Oh, Patriarch Tendo! When'd you get in? Just this afternoon. Tomorrow, the captain's getting out of prison. Oh, really? Hm. Not something civilians like you need to worry about. The wise thing to do would be to mind your own business. Is that a threat, sir? Don't joke like that, man. Your fists ought to require a weapons permit. Say what now? Nothing. I got work to do, just like you said. See ya.
Hey, can I get a refill over here? Oh, make it two. Hey, Ichiban. You look like a teenage girl waiting for a text from her boyfriend. Put it down and relax. Have a drink with us. Yeah, we're in Osaka after all. Stop giving me shit. See, this is why I wanted to come alone. Where are you going, Kasuga-san? I bet it's not to take a leak. He hardly drank a sip. I'm getting antsy waiting for this call from Mitsu. Could be any second now. Didn't he say he was busy planning Watase's welcome back from prison party? Something like that. Some big party at Omi HQ. What a load of crap, huh? Can't he see that Arakawa-san's plans are way more important? Well, but wasn't he expecting you to be here tomorrow, not today? Dude, you're the one who jumped the gun and got here early. Kinda douchey for you to complain now. Who are you, Mama Kasuga? Someone's gotta be. But hey, listen. I overheard something that'll interest you. There was a group of people in here chatting about Arakawa being in town. It's big news, apparently. Really? Yeah. Sounds like folks are worried that a war might break out between Arakawa and Watase. It's just a rumor, but... Wisdom of the crowd and all. Shh! I got a text. Yeah? From Mitsu? Ah, oh, man, what the hell? What's wrong? It's from Nikogata. He texted me, I finally got a pick with Kamala. Great, so glad you told me about that, Nick. Ichiban, did you see my photo? Nobody ever manages to get a pick like that. Bet Bunny, he's so crafty, you never know where his fuzzy little ears will pop up. I'm beside myself, I can't believe I found him! Alright, alright, I get it. Huh? What's got your coat? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm really tied up right now. It'd be a big help if you didn't call me for a couple days, okay? Well, look who's a busy bee. You visiting a lot of pretty flowers these days? No, it's nothing about girls! Listen, I'll call you when things settle down. I'm happy you found Kamala. <laughs> I was just teasing. Why are you so mad? Be more like Kamalov. He's never hopping mad. I gotta go, man! Yeah. Hopping mad? <laughs> mm. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, Kasuga. If you're gonna be a pain in everyone's ass, just go to Omi HQ already. Huh? Come on. Since when do you sit around and wait for anyone, anyhow? Besides, if a war really does break out like these people think, your precious Arakawa-san could be in actual danger. <laughs> hey, Adachi-san. You're absolutely right. Screw waiting. Time to go. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> oh, like devils on each other's shoulders. Mitsu, you took forever, man. How long were you gonna leave me hanging? Sorry, Aniki. I had to find somewhere out of earshot. Not so easy around here. Where are you now? Omi Alliance headquarters. The officers that got here early have me slaving away in the kitchen. They wanted to pregame, huh? I've been seeing tons of catering people going in. Oh, you have? Aniki, are you? Yeah, I'm just outside. Wanted to save you the trouble of calling me, but I guess it's too late for that. Why on earth would you do that? Arakawa-san's in there right now, isn't he? What? Yeah, he's here. But don't come in! I need to arrange a secure meeting spot for you two. I need more time! No way! You have no freaking clue how long I've been waiting for this! Hey, come on, dude! I told you to stay in Yokohama until I contacted you! Yeah, I think you might have said that. Might? I said it clear as day! Well, surprise! I'm here a little early. You would be too if you were me. God damn it, man. Fine. But for now, get the hell out of here. You do know that if someone at HQ recognizes you, you're fucked, right? Proper fucked. Oh, chill out. It's not like the place is crawling with Omi or anything. 
It's just these catering guys rolling their stuff around. Hey, if I disguise myself as one of them, I could slip right in. No, 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 Kasuga. Stop right there. Don't even think about it. Me too, I need to see Arakawa-san. I need to. This has been on my mind ever since he shot me in Kamurocho. Don't you get that? No, you don't get it. You can't. And I don't give a shit. I'm going in. Wait, Aniki. Where is he in the headquarters? Look, you need to... Not gonna tell me? I see how it is. Guess I'll have to ask around inside. You're gonna get mobbed, dude! I'll take down anyone who stands between me and Arakawa-san. Aniki. <sighs> hey, if you just tell me where he is, I'll do my best to avoid any fights. I promise. <sighs> okay. Arakawa-san. He's in a room called the Dragon Chamber. Pretty deep inside HQ. Dragon Chamber. Got it. Is he alone? No. He has some guests. Three people. All right. Thanks, Mitsu. Aniki, are you really going to do this? Okay. I know where Arakawa-san is now. Finally beat it out of him, huh? Well, let's go then. No, I should do this alone. I'll be okay. And look, guys, I'm grateful to all of you for coming this far with me. But there'll be no hard feelings if you want to bail. Really? You're pulling this martyr shit now? Yeah, what's with pushing us away? You know, we didn't come to Osaka for the pleasure cruise. Hey, hey look what I found. This box was just sitting over there. And by the way, I feel the same as the rest of them. Osaka's been fun, but playing tourist is getting old. That's quite a find. It should make getting in much smoother. Guys, I... Thank you. Keep moving! Keep moving! Straight back to the parking garage! That there's the waiting room. You lost or something, pal? Yeah? Hey, someone deal with this guy. It's all good. Hey, catering boys, over here. Careful where you step now. Everyone's famished as hell. Any moment, they're gonna start hollering for food. Yo, someone go see if any more trucks can fit! Is the beer here yet? These guys will need booze! Hey, Arakawa-san's in a back room called the Dragon Chamber. Just act natural. Hey, who are you fellas? Oh, uh, just on our way to the Dragon Chamber. <laughs> what a name, huh? Yeah, it's just up those stairs. But, uh, did the acting captain ask for you? Uh, you mean Arakawa-san? Yeah, he totally did. If he'd called for you, he would have sent someone for you. Seems you're lacking an escort, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. He said something about how busy everyone is today, so we should just go right in. <laughs> no way. We can't just let people make that kind of claim and walk on by. Give me the name of the guy who said you could go in. I want to know their family, too. Sure. Um, what was it again? You're shady as hell, Scruffy. How about your name? What's that, huh? No name that you'd recognize, but I'm from the Arakawa family. Ain't what I asked. What's your damn name? L look, man. Stop stalling and say it! Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Dude, why not make up a name? Oops. Well, no point now. Sure. At least it's a cool-ass name. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> so, we good? It also happens to be the name of the fucker the captain shot in Kamurocho! Oh, shit. And for once, we got the numbers advantage here. Wanna take him out? Hell yeah. Rolling time! You wanna fight? Alright! This should be fun! 
Give me your hand. There. That ought to do it. Let's get going. I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get him, Kasuga. If they wise up and call for help, we're screwed. Huh. You think we'd do that? Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I've always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. <laughs> Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that one. Uh, Ichiban, something feels kind of off about them. I know. Wouldn't expect any less from the Omi Alliance HQ. About time you guys got that through your heads. Yo. I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they call the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and? That wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track anymore? All I'm saying is, if that's you, why the hell are you guarding the stairs of fucking Omi Alliance HQ? <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? Well, then good luck beating the answers out of us. <laughs> Talking kind of big there, aren't ya, Majima? Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! Don't you worry, fellas! I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time! Let's go! It's Goro Majima's comeback tour! <laughs> this ought to be good! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. <sighs> yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. Wait, you two were holding back that whole time? <sighs> guys. Don't let him get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up. That's enough. Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. <sighs> hey. Isn't that him? Yeah, it's Arakawa. Boss! Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Wait a second. The sixth chairman's here? Sixth chairman. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichibang. Ichibang Kasuga. 
of the Arakawa family, loyal to the Tojo clan. I'm Daigo Dojima. I see you've met Goro Majima and his sworn brother, Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, Sixth Chairman! Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? It was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, Majima-san. <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. What the hell, guys? What's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Looking forward to next time, Ichiban Kasuga. Sit down, Ichi. The rest of you are welcome to take a seat as well. Okay. I can do that. So, to start, Majima, Saejima, and the chairman have all been laying low. For a while, actually. It's been two years now since the Kamurocho 3K plan. Right now, the only people who know they're in this room are also in this room. The Kamurocho 3K plan was when the young master cracked down on crime, right? Yes. And you might already know this. It only succeeded because they had intel from a Tojo clan insider. <sighs> you might have heard rumors that the insider leaked the info to Masato after he was elected governor. That insider was myself. All right, but if the sixth chairman's not gonna speak up, I'm guessing there's more to this story? I got that right, sixth chairman? Ichiban, easy. It's fine, I'll explain. <sighs> Patriarch Arakawa didn't betray the Tojo clan. He leaked the Tojo clan's inside information with my complete approval. The hell? At my request, Arakawa-san played the part of a scheming two-faced traitor. And ultimately that led to him having to shoot you, unfortunately. I'm sure that hasn't been easy for either of you to come to terms with. But that can't be the whole story, right? It's too easy. You've told me this much. You might as well tell me everything. Please. <laughs> well, it's not like you've left me anywhere to run. You don't mind, do you, Arakawa-san? Sounds like he's gonna make this trip worth it, Ichiban. It all started when Masato became governor. Of course, he was Ryo Aoki by then. He started pushing the Arakawa family to leak inside info, which he'd paired with his 3K plan and used it to crush the Tojo clan. At first, I refused. Then he threatened to arrest me under anti-Yakuza laws as many times as it took for my family to collapse. He threatened his own father? He did. 
And as I was trying to think of a solution, Sawashiro came up with one. His idea was to strike a bargain, to give up the info as long as Masato agreed to extend us government protection. At the very least, that would keep him from grinding the family into dust. <laughs> Sometimes I think Sawashiro is softer on Masato than I am. I didn't agree with him at first, and besides, it wasn't my decision to make. I laid it all out to the sixth chairman, told him what Masato had asked of me, and how if I turned down the request, he'd probably just threaten another family. Eventually, someone would give in and betray the Tojo clan. I couldn't allow that to happen. I knew the chairman would think like Masato in a way I couldn't. Not only because they're closer to each other in age, but also because he's my son. You never truly know your children. You yearn to, but in the end, they're a different generation. <laughs> How'd the sixth chairman get so popular with old fools? <laughs> You're no spring chicken yourself, you know. If Arwakawa-san hadn't gone along with the plan, he would have been arrested under some false pretense. The anti-Yakuza laws are so open-ended, the government's got a vice grip on us. We've come into an age where politicians and law enforcement can use these laws to bend the Yakuza to their will. Which means, the Yakuza way of life is dead as we know it. Soon enough, the only thing a Yakuza crest will symbolize is a government slave. The Tojo clan aren't anyone's slaves. Sounds dramatic. What else do you call those so completely under the control of others? We've already had a man of some importance imprisoned for his refusal to submit. He had a subordinate who fought back against police harassment, and they found him liable as the man's superior. That was Masaru Watase, captain of the Omi Alliance, de facto leader of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. He gets out of prison tomorrow, and this headquarters will be his first stop. That's why we've gone into hiding. We know what tomorrow will bring. What? What's it gonna bring? You gonna try to do something to Watase? Don't tell me you're gonna... Attack him? No. What good would that do us? Yeah, true. But what is it then? We're going to dissolve Japan's two largest factions. The Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan. Watase will make a public announcement of his plan to file the paperwork. Whoa! Dissolve the Omi and the Tojo? Just like that? Not just like that. Watase and I considered this carefully. Unless Prison changed his mind. But there's no way all the current Yakuza would accept this! True. And how they react is anyone's guess. Tomorrow is going to be a day of reckoning for us all. That's why I need all the allies I can get. People I can trust completely. Ichiban, didn't Michu say the same thing to you? Ugh. Ugh. So that's how you managed to talk to Arakawa-san last night. Damn it, man. If you just had some patience, it would have gone way smoother. It's your fault for making me wait. You know how I am. And you freaking traded blows with Majima-san and Saijima-san? I just about shit my pants when I heard that. <laughs> Any other crazy-ass things you did in there? Oh, shut up. I've got enough people nagging me about it. It's nobody else's business. <sighs> okay, whatever. The fact remains Captain Watase leaves prison today. You'll make a beeline to HQ. Arakawa-san and all those Tojo officers have been waiting a long time for this. All we have to do is follow the plan. Yeah, the plan. Well, if Arakawa-san thinks it's the right move, I'll go along with it. Aniki, you gotta realize, Arakawa-san risked his life for this opportunity. Right now, we need allies who are committed. Does that describe you, Aniki? <laughs> Again with this ally crap. I said I'm on board. And so are my friends from Eugene Show. What more do you want? Talk about committed. That's my pals to a T. 
We finish what we start. That's a little more epic than I remember it. But we're in if Ichiban is. Well, whenever you're ready, just take a taxi to HQ. I'll come out to get you so we can avoid the disaster that was last time. See you there.